Hey everybody, it's Julie, and today I'm going to be doing some overlapping rainbow stripes. I made a base card from some Nina Solar White, 80 pound. Went ahead and cut it 5.5 by 8.5 inches, and then I'm going to score it at 4 and a quarter there. My little scoreboard and crease the fold line there with my Teflon bone folder. I like to reinforce the gutter crease there so that my card will lay as flat as possible while I'm working. Now I've opened up the standard Misty and I rotated it so that I'm working with it in portrait mode instead of landscape mode. I've got the lid on the right and the bumpers on the left. I'm going to use that little L bracket. That's one of the accessories for the Misty that you can get that has these really fun and helpful positioning rulers. And the reason I did that is I wanted to have a gap away from the left hand side of the bumper so that when I mount this large stamp from the painted stripe set it will hang off the edge of the paper and it's not going to interfere with my impressions there. So this is the palette I'm working with. It's really fun. I tested it out on scratch paper first to make sure I really liked how the colors worked together when they were overlapped. I'm starting out with mint and I'm just going to go ahead and make a really nice impression here to start with but I decided I wanted more intense color so I'm going to re-ink and I'm not going to move anything. I'm not moving the card. I'm not moving the stamp. I'm just going to re-ink and re-stamp right over the top of that. Then I'm going to clean off the stamp and grab that L ruler and I'm going to use that as a guide for shifting my paper down. So I'm going to be moving it in various increments down the platform of the Misty so I can reposition the stripe in another area. And that's why I had to start at the very top there so that I had the room to keep scooching it down. <laughs> <laughs> so now I've decided, and I'm just eyeballing how I like to have the colors overlap, or how much overlap I want, or how little overlap I want. So I'm just going to go ahead and repeat this same process over and over again by re-inking and stamping twice, and scooching the card down the platform of the Misty by using that L bracket there to keep me nice and straight. So I do have to take it out, otherwise um, my stamp will land on it. But I just need it there temporarily, and then I'll just put those magnets back in place to make sure that my card doesn't shift on me uh, while I'm working. So I'm just going to continue until I get all the way to the bottom. And you'll see that my card hits all the way down at the bottom of the platform by the time I'm done. Now you might have to finagle a little bit if you wanted to cover the entire card uh, with these rainbow stripes. But I really do like how it looks by having the white gap at the bottom and a white gap at the top. And you'll see why as I finish the card that it looks good or it works on this particular design. Now that I got my stripes done, I'm going to do the block text knockout greeting and I'm using a greeting from the die set uh, instant photo frames and I used the L bracket there on the Misty to help me position and align that so it was straight on my card front and then of course you have to open the card before you send it through your die cutter so you don't cut through the back side of your card. Ask me how I know. <laughs> And then I also die cut one of those Polaroid frames, this is the larger one, out of more Nina Solar White. And I'm going to add some foam tape all around the perimeter, just cut some skinny strips. I'm going to peel the liner paper back partially, not completely, around the perimeter there. And this is going to give me some handles to hang on to, so I can temporarily get that in place. And once I'm sure, I'll press down firmly, and it will adhere partially. And then when I remove the liner papers, you know, just pull them out, peel them out from underneath, then it's anchored down all the way completely. And there's no going back now. <laughs> it's on there. <laughs> And then for added uh, embellishment, I grabbed the Nouveau drops. I love these drops to simulate the epoxy dots, and I just put some dots there on my card front, and then I slap it against a flat surface to make them go foosh, and they become really flat like enamel dots. And that's it. That's all there is to it. You could leave them rounded if you want to, but it's fun to have this rainbow effect that coordinates with the stripes on the card. I hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching. Thank you.